Some NBA players spend their entire careers trying to win a championship ring. Many of them retire without ever going all the way. But then there are those who become world champions straight from the get-go as rookie champs. In this video, I'm going to name the top 10 NBA rookie champions, the best rookies to win a ring. Now, I want to make it clear that I am ranking these players based on their rookie season. So some players may have developed into an overall better player, but they will rank lower if their rookie season was more or less a bench rider with little impact. Let's see if you agree with my picks. Speaking of picks, to find the best NBA bets and picks for upcoming games, check out the Game Day's NBA Pick of the Day. You can do that by clicking the link down below. The Game Day is a new sports and sports betting media company built for today's fan. Without further ado, let's rebound onto that list. In 10th place, we have Jordan Bell. Jordan Bell became an NBA champion in 2018 at the age of 23, playing alongside the Golden State Warriors, defeating the Cleveland Cavaliers. While he only averaged around 5 points per game, a lot of his contributions don't show up on the stat sheet. He was an important piece to the small ball lineup as he is a 6'8 center who is fast and can effectively defend smaller ISO scores when they switch defenders. In 9th place is Norris Cole, who became an NBA champion in 2012 at the age of 23 playing alongside the Miami Heat defeating the Oklahoma City Thunder. Norris was the backup point guard of Mario Chalmers and was not afraid of the big stage. His rookie season was one of his best seasons overall putting up nearly 7 points per game. Fun fact, Norris is from Dayton, Ohio and played for Cleveland State University. So what took the kid from Akron 9 seasons to achieve, the kid from Cleveland did it in 1. In 8th place is Jordan Wara who became an NBA champion in 2021 at the age of 22 playing alongside the Milwaukee Bucks defeating the Phoenix Suns. Jordan has a really bright future ahead of him, especially if he continues to improve his game. During his rookie season, he put up nearly 6 points per game. He's currently averaging around 9 points per game while coming off the bench. His minutes are increasing, and he can develop into a starter's caliber talent if he continues to improve. I have him ranked higher than Cole and Bell due to his defensive capabilities and range. He shot 45% from beyond the arc during his rookie season. In 7th place is Sam Cassell who became an NBA champion in 1994 at the age of 24 playing alongside the Houston Rockets defeating the New York Knicks. Sam later developed into an all-star when he reached his prime in Minnesota, but his time in Houston was still great. Even as a rookie, he knew the game well and played like a veteran at such a young age. He put up around 7 points per game and about 3 assists, which is impressive considering he only played 17 minutes per game. He won a ring in his first season and in his last season, coming full circle. He also won during his second season. In sixth place is Tom Heinsohn, who became an NBA champion in 1957 at age 22 playing alongside the Boston Celtics defeating the St. Louis Hawks. Tom was a rookie all-star who put up over 16 points per game and nearly 10 rebounds. He went on to win a total of 8 rings, made 6 all-star teams, and is a Celtics legend. Rest in peace to Tom Heinsohn. In 5th place is Manu Ginobili. From ages 22 to 24, Manu played in Italy. He came to the NBA at age 25, so he had a lot of basketball experience under his belt, which helped his maturity and understanding of the game. He won with the Spurs at age 25 during the 2003 season, defeating the New Jersey Nets. In 4th place is Kevin McHale, who became an NBA champion in 1981 at age 23, playing alongside the Boston Celtics, defeating the Houston Rockets. If we were to compare entire careers, you could place Kevin Kevin a little bit higher, but solely looking at rookie seasons, Kevin making it into fourth is still really good. He averaged 10 points per game, and most impressively almost 2 blocks per game in just 20 minutes per game. In third place is Jamal Wilkes, who became an NBA champion in 1975 at age 21, playing alongside the Golden State Warriors, defeating the Washington Bullets. Jamal made the all-rookie team that year, putting up 14.2 points per game and grabbing 8.2 rebounds per game. He went on to become a 4-time champ and a three-time All-Star. If the other two players weren't absolute legends, he would have been ranked higher. In second place is one of the best to ever play, and that is the legendary Bill Russell. Bill became an NBA champ right out of the gates at age 22 in the year 1957, playing for the Boston Celtics, defeating the St. Louis Hawks, which was the team that drafted him and traded him on draft night. I bet they regret doing that. Bill averaged almost 15 points per game and led the leagues in rebounds as a rookie, grabbing 19.6 rebounds per game. 
In first place is the best point guard in NBA history, Magic Johnson. Not only is he a rookie champ, he's a rookie finals MVP, rookie all-star, but somehow not rookie of the year. That award went to Bird that very year, but that didn't stop Magic from having an all-time great rookie season, winning it all at age 20, playing for the Lakers, defeating the 76ers in the finals. Magic averaged 18 points per game while putting up nearly 8 rebounds and 7.3 assists. So here are my top 10 rookie champions. Let me know what you think of this list and what type of content you want to see in the future. Don't forget to dunk on that like button and subscribe with notifications turned on. I'm Rebound Rewind and I'll fast forward to you later.